Hi everybody, welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. My name is Denise and I'm here tonight to show you a Tutorial Tuesday card using the Spiral Die Stamp Set. So tonight we're going to use the Spiral Die and we're also going to use Biggest Wish. These are both really awesome stamp sets that can be found in the brand new annual catalog. And this background stamp is one that I overlooked the first few times I looked through the catalog, but I'm so happy that I've added it to my collection and I'll show you why in just a minute. So tonight, hi Bev, tonight we are going to use the Stamparatus and we're going to make this gorgeous card. Okay, look how bright and fun that is for summer and it's super, super simple. So here's my Stamparatus and it has two plates on it. Okay, so here and here. I know it's a little hard to see in my camera, but bear with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off one. So I'm going to remove this one here. It just pops right off. Okay, so I'm just going to remove that. We don't need that. Hi, Bobby. Okay, we also do not need this foam mat because the stamp set that we're using is the spiral die, which is a red rubber stamp. So this you need if you're using photopolymer with your Stamparatus. Before I get started, I'm going to put one of my paper liners, just so I don't get this all mucked up. So I'm just going to take one of these out, okay, and I'm going to line that up right in here. Actually, I'm going to flip it over so there's less lines right here. Okay, so here is our base of our Stamparatus. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stamping piece here which is three and three quarters by five and I'm just gonna situate that on my paper okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this and you'll see why in just a minute so I'm just gonna put a little mark here so when I remove this I can see where I had lined it up all right so I'm gonna put it back there like that now I'm gonna take my stamp and this is, like I said, the big background stamp. And I'm going to situate it right over top of my paper. And I'm just going to place it down. Then I'm going to use the plate to grab that and pull it off. Okay. So now I have my stamp here, my paper here. I'm going to start. The colors we're using tonight are polished pink and mango melody. So I'm going to start with the polished pink and I'm just going to ink the stamp all up. Okay. So you can see I've got the ink on there. Now I'm making sure that's still lined up. I'm just going to close this down over top. Give it a bit of pressure all across. Okay. And then I'm going to lift it off. And you can see the first part of our spiral die. Now, because I want to use another color, I'm going to just quickly clean the stamp. Give that a clean. Okay. And then I'm going to re-ink that up with Mango Melody. These two colors go really awesome together for a nice, bright, cheerful card. So, get this all nice and inked up. Now over here, I'm going to pick my piece up and I'm going to turn it 180 degrees and I'm going to line it up again at that same mark. Okay. Now I'm going to take this stamp that's all inked with the Mango Melody and I'm going to put it right down over top. Give this more pressure, just like we did the first time. And then I'm going to lift it off. And there we've got this super cool background. So it looks just like a tie-dye shirt that I remember um, with those bright, fun colors and that great design. So I'm done with the Stamparatus. I'm just going to push this off to the side here. And we'll build the remainder of the card. So I'm starting with a Mango Melody card base. I have a polished pink mat here. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that. I'm 
just centering that on the front of the card. Okay, and now we can go ahead and put our beautiful, um, oh, I didn't cut that quite the right size. So let me just trim that down. I must have used the wrong, that's okay, no worries. So I want this to be three and three quarters. by five. Okay. And then that's going to go right over top of the polished pink like that. Okay. There we go. I just love this stamp so much. It's so fun. Okay, now we've got these two little pieces here. So we've got a strip of basic black and another piece of basic white. And I'm going to use my Mango Melody again. And using the Biggest Wish stamp set, I'm going to stamp Birthday. And I'm also going to be using the Happy. Okay. So, here comes the Birthday stamp. And I'm just going to stamp that off to the right hand side. And you know, I'm going to show you my trick like I always talk about. To put a colored piece of paper behind your white when you're trying to stamp and get it positioned properly. So white on white, it's hard to see. But if you just throw a different color piece of cardstock under that, then it's really easy to line up where you're stamping. Okay, so there we have birthday. And then I, like I said, I have the happy stamp in the script font here. And these fonts are so fun and cheerful. I love them. And we're just going to go ahead and stamp happy right over top of the birthday. Okay, so there we have happy birthday. <clears throat> and then I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to put a little strip of tape on either edge. Here. I'm going to take my black, which is only a quarter inch shorter, and I'm going to line up the edge of the birthday with the edge of the black. Okay, so it just creates this little bit of a focal, oops, focal border at the bottom there. And then, I guess I didn't need to put the tape up here, so that's okay. We'll just put some dimensionals down. I would really like this to be layered up on our card. Okay, so that is just going to go and I'm going to line it up right to the polished pink paper on the edge here. Just like that. And now the last thing that we want to do just to finish off the card is of course we want to add a little bit of bling. So I'm going to use these matte black dots, which are one of my favorites right now. Um, and all of you who attended my launch party got some of these in your goodie kit, um, in your goodie bag. So that's awesome. I hope you're enjoying them. I'm going to just stick a couple of those just down here like so. And there we have it. Of course, I guess we should in finish it off and put the insert in. Now, because I used the wrong size on the front, of course, this is going to be the wrong size on the inside, but I'm okay with that. Nobody will be the wiser. So we'll just do this. There we go. We've got our nice insert. We've got the beautiful summer themed card with these bright colors and this gorgeous spiral die. And that card was so simple to make. So I hope that you've enjoyed tonight's video. And I hope that it's inspired you to look through the catalog again and see if there's any of those stamp hiding that you've maybe overlooked as well. Make sure to pay special attention to this gorgeous spiral die because really it is so much fun and the color combinations are really, really fun that you could do with it. So thanks everybody for joining me for this quick Facebook Live tonight. I look forward to seeing you all next week for Tutorial Tuesday next week. Cheers!